Police showing the moments crews arrived to give CPR to a six year old girl. She was rescued after falling through the ice on a pond there. A good Samaritan jumping into the pond to save her and two other kids, rescuers, able to get her breathing again. And the firefighters credit that good Samaritan with saving the little girl's life. All right, turn now to your pinpoint weather 12 forecast. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraca making it very clear it is not safe to go on any ice here right now. No, I mean, these local ponds and lakes uh, are icing over a little bit, but clearly not thick enough. And you really need a prolong, you know, multiple days of, of sub-freezing temperatures. In fact, by tomorrow afternoon, as cold as it is right now, we're going to go above freezing close to 40. It is quiet. The wind speeds have been coming down. So while it will be another very cold night ahead, uh, at least the, the wind's not quite as gusty. In the meantime, we're looking at Newport under clear skies, dry and obviously frigid conditions. Here are your temperatures at last check anywhere from about 10 to 15 degrees including 15 in Providence but enough of a breeze even though it has been coming down to make it feel a little colder so we keep the threat tracker elevated for tonight just for the very frigid temperatures and we'll bump it up to um, yellow for very early tomorrow morning but so by no means do we have a storm on the way for of tomorrow in fact Tomorrow's a dry day, but it's very early in the morning. Some flurries and a few light snow showers, which in itself isn't really a big deal. But the pavement's very cold, and along the south shore, five, six, seven o'clock in the morning, a little bit of moisture coming in off the off the off the ocean may produce a few slick spots. Tomorrow afternoon, albeit windy, it's a dry and milder day. We finally get above freezing. So here's what I'm talking about. Very early, 4, 5, 6, 7 a.m., some moisture coming in uh, off the uh, coastline or off the, off the ocean may produce a few very light snow showers and flurries, and it may make things just a little slippery right down in here. But the temperature will go well above freezing by... Uh, mid to late morning. Skies are clear, windy, cold, and dry. You see the temperatures up to our north are in the single digits. Here's the wider view. Reason why the winds will die down one and two high pressure building in will knock down the wind speeds. It'll be a calm, cold, very cold, quiet night before temperatures rebound. So the uh, the very frigid air, shaded in purple and gray, it is starting to shrink. In fact, when we look at the temperatures across the central plains and the Midwest, that's some of the milder air headed our way for tomorrow afternoon. Mild meaning we'll get temperatures close to 40 by around 2, 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. But we are rather cold, in fact, very cold overnight tonight. Here we are by 7 o'clock in the morning. And it starts off at 15 degrees, only to recover to about 40 or close to it by tomorrow afternoon. Let me draw you in even closer. Hour by hour forecast, wind speeds dying down, temperatures quite cold. I want to jump ahead to around 5, 6 in the morning, right in here. It doesn't look like much. You got a couple of flurries and snow showers coming in off the ocean, and right in here, it may get a little slippery early in the morning. Uh, very cold pavement temperatures. But watch by mid to late morning, we're above freezing, and then during the afternoon, uh, upper 30s to near 40. It's a windy day, so it's too bad. I mean, we're going to forecast 39, but a gusty southwest wind will make it feel a little cool. But by no means will it be frigid tomorrow afternoon. And boaters, you get a gale warning in effect for tomorrow for some of these gusty winds. But we are dry right through tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night. So stepping out uh, tomorrow morning, uh, the, excep the exception, and it's a very low chance, maybe some slippery spots along the south shore early, otherwise windy and dry, and finally getting temperatures above freezing. Uh, during the afternoon hours. Seven day forecast looking okay for Thursday at 45. A few light snow showers on Friday with an offshore storm. Saturday is frigid. Sunday looks dry. All eyes on Monday. Still several days out. Potential coastal storm with some uh, rain and snow and temperatures in the upper 30s. Tony, thank you. Still ahead on 12.